Today I'm going to show you how you can turn your backyard chicken tractor into a regenerative farming permaculture orchard and vineyard or meat production. This is the original Vineyard Chicks chicken tractor that I designed over three years ago and it worked out so well that I built two more just like it with the exact same design. Now, chicken tractors are only one of the six phases our chickens go through here, and I'm going to tell you about all six of those phases right after these. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, subscribe, and join our Facebook page in the description for updates on my chickens, ducks, guineas, and emus. Plus, you get Bunky's gardening adventures and KK's goats and cows as a bonus. We also post our Vineyard Chicks music videos every Saturday morning, and we hope you'll enjoy our songs. And stay tuned to the end for some updates on Bunky's garden and KK's Nigerian dwarf goats. But now I'll share you exactly how I will raise 100 plus pastured meat chickens this year while improving our permaculture vineyard with regenerative farming practices. This is the fourth year I've been running my baby ducks, turkeys, and young chickens through my three chicken tractors. And this year, my plan is to run 100 chickens for meat through my system to produce over 500 pounds of chickens. Add that to our 2,000 pounds of veggies from Bunky's Garden, and we're getting that much closer to self-sufficiency this year. And here's how we do it. You might recognize the outdoor brooder house from when my breeder magpie ducks were in here. But this is the first transitioning spot for our meat birds when they move out of the garage. These are our red broilers, and they are the first of five batches of 20 chickens that are going to be moving to the chicken tractors as our meat birds. However, they are the only meat birds we're going to grow this year that are from a hatchery. Our other four batches are all going to be hatched from here and going to be Orpington chickens. This is Hagrid, and this is Hogwarts Hen House, and this is where I keep all of my laying hens. We originally used to put nesting boxes in the chicken tractors, but that was before I built this hen house last year. Now I keep all of the laying hens in here, and they lay their eggs in this chicken coop. And we keep the hens here in Hagrid's Haven, which includes the ducks, the turkeys, and the emus. Six foot dinosaurs. What? What's wrong, buddy? The first phase to our chicken production process is incubation and at any given time we have 66 eggs in our incubators on our farm and we hatch from chickens ducks to turkeys and our goal this year is to hatch more ducks for the vineyard more turkeys because turkeys and more chickens we're hoping to get at least a hundred chickens this year and after the birds hatch in the incubators, they stay in there for a few hours just to cool off, or just to warm up and dry off. And then they're moved to the indoor brooder, which I will show you right now. This is our mudroom brooder. This is the second phase of our birds, and this is where the hatchlings go for the first week of their lives. And this is when we want to make sure that they're healthy and that they're okay and we need to keep an eye on them. So they stay in here for about a week. And this week we've only actually hatched three birds and all three of them are magpie ducks. And aren't they just adorable? Magpies are one of the three breeds of ducks that we run through the vineyard for our organic pesticide control. And those are magpies, runner ducks, and harlequin ducks, which you'll see in just a minute when I show you the garage brooders. A couple of these guys here are going to be ready to go out into the garage brooders pretty soon, but we didn't hatch any chicks this week, so it's just ducks for now. This is literally just an old tub, some pine shavings, a food tray, a water tray, and a heat lamp. 
but this is really a great place for us to keep an eye on them when they're little. After spending a week inside, we move our birds out into the garage into these feed troughs. Depending on when they're hatched, we have our harlequin, du our harlequin ducks, our Orvington chickens, and our Nergansett turkeys in here. Now, these are literally just animal feed troughs that we got from Tractor Supply with some dog crate pieces on top. And we use the basic feed and water and a stand that we got to keep them from spilling their water. Now we have heard some debate about whether to use shavings or not, but we haven't had any issues with it. So we just keep using it as bedding for our birds. This is our permaculture vineyard. And in the entire place, we have 50 apple trees, 100 raspberries, and over 3,000 grapevines in total. Now, as you can see, we don't do anything for the weeds, and we don't do anything about the pests either. None of the, we don't spray anything for the bugs, but we do have the ducks for that. However, all of this ground where the grapes were planted originally had a few chickens and some chicken tractors that were pulled down the rows to prepare the ground for the grapes. Fertilize it and rototilla it and just make it really great dirt. And like these guys, that's what they're gonna be doing. I'm walking these red broiler chickens, which are our meat birds, over to the chicken tractors over there. And while they're there, they're going to be pulled along the entire property to prep the soil for the grapevines that will be planted soon. More about that in my next video. Yeah, good chicken. But first, here are updates from Bunky and Kaken. So for this week's update, the goats and cows are now in the middle pasture. The grass is considerably longer than it is in the first pasture, so they're gonna be enjoying their time out here. We need to patch up the fence a little bit to make sure that there is no way for the goats to get out. But other than that, I think they should be good in here. I have planted in my outdoor garden my snow peas. This is my first time planting snow peas, actually. And my romaine lettuce, and my fennel. And the fennel is in the carrot family, which I do the same method I do with my carrots. Thank you for being at our homestead today. Please watch for our Saturday morning music video and my next chicken tractor update by subscribing and joining our Vineyard Chicks Facebook page. Thank you so much and God bless.